Good evening and welcome to Scrapbooking with a Twist. We're going to make our uh, weekly swap embellishment. This one is called Under Construction. I'm kind of late getting this out. I did a bunch of them in advance and then they've all <laughs> aired and we're down to now where I got to get it going each week. So um, Under Construction, it was anything to do, I think, with home improvement. So this is what I came up with. And so we're going to just walk through it very, very quickly. Um, I got a lot on the agenda today. We have our chili cook-off and pie contest at our church this evening, which is always a lot of fun. And uh, I got to get my stuff up there. So I'm going to start. I inked the, oh, let me show you what I used first. This is one of the oldest die cuts I think that I have, this little wheelbarrow. It came with some other things. It has like some flowers and stuff that can go in there. But um, it cuts these, whoops, throw it down. It cuts these little lines. And I'm going to do some work with this little wheel to make it look like this. But, and then it has the background, the shadow or the background piece. So, but this is one of the oldest die cuts I think I have. I think it, let me see if it even says, maybe an old, it is uh, Stamps of Life. It says it right there. So um, I've got a couple of things to ink that'll, I've already inked all of my wood pieces. So while I'm doing this very, very quickly, the twist. The twist today comes from 1 John 1, 7, and it says, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. Well, God is the light. So if we are, walking in his light, pretty much that means we're walking in his truth, in the reality of his truth. And walking with him pretty much means living for him, trying to live the way we think he wants us to. And so when we do that, it says we have fellowship with one another. We have good fellowship with other believers. And so that was just kind of, we're going to have a fellowship this evening with our uh, chili competition. We have a chili cook-off in our pie competition. And it's fun to get with other Christians and to be able to fellowship and just to have fun. So when we have those things in common, when we're walking with God and trying to please Him in our life and and acknowledging his truth and trying to live by his truth, it says that we have fellowship with each other. We can find joy and satisfaction and fulfillment and on and on and on in our lives with our friends, with God, with each other, our family, when we, when we live that way. And so, then the end of that verse is kind of cherry on top because it says that if we do that, then we have forgiveness of our friend, our sins through his son, Jesus Christ. So our relationship with God through his son, Jesus, gives us forgiveness of sin. And that just adds a whole higher level of joy and satisfaction and fulfillment and security and just almost any good word that you can think of to describe it to our lives. Okay, that's kind of all those little pieces. Clear that off. So let me get just a little more right in there. All right, so we've got our little wagon. It's really a wheelbarrow. I actually looked for a wagon, and I have a wagon somewhere, but I couldn't find it. So um, there's our little wheelbarrow, the pieces of it. I need to um, glue our hammer together so it can be drying. And this hammer, uh, you've seen me use this little uh, die set before. And it has several different tools on it. I just used the hammer today. But, um, kind of get it drying. And then I may also dust the edges of it just a little bit. So let's get our hammer assembled. Get it picked up here. Whoa, let's, I'm just dropping everything. 
So get our little hammer assembled. And I think I will wait just a second and let that dry before I do anything to the edges. Now, I want to make my tire look a little different. This, to me, if you just put this on here, it's kind of mundane. So I wanna make my tire look a little bit better. So I just used um, this part of the die and put just this part of it on black and cut it out for each one of my little wagons. And then, let me get my ink covered up here. And then I'm going to use just these little scissors and I'm gonna cut that little middle part out. Just like this. Just to get that very little center part out. Okay, so now we have the center, and then I've got to cut this little section, and it's cut, I just have to get it, let's see, where do I need that? There, so we can get it cut away. All right, so that will be that part of our tire. So let's go ahead and put that on. But I just thought that tire looked better if it had the little black tire and then we'll have the the uh, the little red center in it. So let's get just a tiny bit of glue on that. And the die cut shows you exactly where to put it to line it up. And then if it doesn't line up just absolutely perfectly, I just go around it with my black ink, but that one looks pretty good. Okay, and then we're going to glue this onto our wagon. Just enough glue to hold it. Glue this onto the back part, the shadow of our wagon. I think that looks pretty good. And then we're going to take our little black dot that was in the middle of that and glue it right in the center just to kind of complete our little tire look. I kind of liked it better like that than I did just using the plain die. Sometimes we have to dress our dies up just a little to get them the way we want them. Now, the fun part is putting all of this into our wagon. You know, I heard several people say, oh, I had a little trouble with this, deciding what to do with this uh, mini swap, which sometimes I do too. But this one was easy for me because I have six little grandsons, all 11 and younger, between eight and 11. And so, we're under construction all the time. They're either building something or tearing something up every day. So this one was easy for me. All right, we're gonna keep our hammer, and I kind of placed the hammer first because I wanted it sort of front and center. So we're gonna do our hammer, and then we'll start just putting our boards very haphazard, because that's really the way their projects pretty much look. So we'll get our hammer in there. If I had had a hand saw, I think I would have put it in there also, but I, I didn't have a die cut with a hand saw, so I just did it this way. So I want to crisscross these so that they're, you know, they look all uneven and like, you know, a 10 year old boy just threw it in his wheelbarrow. Oops. How about I just turn it upside down? This is... All right, so let's, oops, get our glue off of there. 
Let's get that one going across there. Okay. Now let's get, I know it doesn't have to be exactly like that one, certainly, but here's one that could come out here. You know, there's just really no wrong way, as Ginger would say, to do this because it's just to look very haphazard. So let's stick one across here. And of course, you want them all different heights and lengths and everything just to give them that haphazard look. Okay, let's do... Um, I may have used one I planned to use somewhere else. Uh, let's try this one and see if we can get it. Uh, I had one. I really like the way that looks. Let's get our big one of this one on there. Let's get that on there. See if we can. And even the paper is like rough and I like that and I I found these scraps these are just some scraps that I had of wood grains and I have a wood grain uh, die cut and so I not die cut embossing folder and so I ran um, I ran these papers through that embossing folder just to give them some um, texture uh, let's put that one there. And no two of these will be alike. So I'm, I'm, I need to just quit even looking at that one because no two of these are going to be alike. So I think I'll just stick that one over here and quit even looking at that other one. And uh, let's see. Let's get a one down in here like that. And like I said, I just want to crisscross them and make them look as haphazard as possible. Um, let's get one coming. Let's get that one up a little. Maybe do another one across here and then get one coming out from behind. Yeah, like that. Then we'll get one coming from back here somewhere. And then we may stick another one of these down in here just to give a Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I kind of like that. So let's see if we can, it needs to be a little shorter. Let's see if maybe we can get these two together and then um, stick them on there. Let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty much like what my boys would load up. Let's see, I've got another dark one I could put right back here. Like I said, they're going to all be different. They're not going to be any two alike. Hold that one until it dries just a little. See, I think this one actually has more little sticks of wood in it than that other one did. Let me get this one. I just stuck it in there and it stayed, so I need to get it glued to something. Yeah, I like that. I think that's pretty cute. So I think that's how we'll leave it. So we have our under construction and got that one in the books for this week. So. If you are just watching on YouTube and you don't understand what I'm talking about, about the weekly swap, 
If you uh, look on Facebook and you search for Ginger's Corner, we have a Facebook group that we have weekly swaps, slops, we do that too. Uh, we have weekly swaps, we have uh, layout that we do. People post things. You get good ideas. You can participate in the swap. The instructions are there. It's very easy. Or you can just look at people's layouts and get ideas. It's a fun, 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 supportive community. And so just um, search for Ginger's Corner and um, we're doing this little thing all year long, once a week, all year long, and it's called uh, Scraps to Embellishments, and we just make embellishments according to a little theme that is established each week. And you make four embellishments, you send them in, they'll give you, they'll assign you a captain, you send them in, and then you get four different embellishments back from your teammates. So it's a lot of fun, very easy, very supportive, and her, Motto is, there's no wrong way to play with paper. So it doesn't matter how good you are, how experienced you are. You may be the most talented or you may be brand new and just don't even know what you're doing. And it's all okay. We'll just love you through it and love what you make. So have a good day. Have a blessed day. And most of all, be a blessing to someone else.